Welcome to Once Upon a Crime. Stories from the underbelly or far away land where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Javan. And I'm Phoenix. After a story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims he Viva is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter, Kayla, with more. Disruption of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? Well, to be honest, I did blow them down, but I get a really bad allergies when I'm around pigs, so it wasn't my fault. It was my allergies' fault. What do you have to say? Wait, no. You've been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf, really? I'm not the bad wolf, that was my evil twin brother. What do you have to say to the good people in faraway land who think you're nothing more than a dangerous criminal? I would disagree, but I won't agree either. I'm not a total answer, but I'm not a criminal. Well, thank you for those thoughts, Mr Wolf. Good luck with your child. Back to the studio. Now for news of escaped kidnapped heroes Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts, captured the hearts of the nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds and Our Breadcrumbs, the Hansel and Gretel story. Our reporter Kaylee was at the book's release in the deep dark forest the terrible scene, the scene of the terrible tale. Hello, I'm Kaylee, and with me are Hansel and Gretel. You're obviously very rich now, having found all the jewels in the old witch's house. How do you plan on spending all of that money? We do have millions, and I plan on spending it on makeup, clothes, and my very own hairstyler. I'm planning on spending it on a fitness, a fitness instructor, so I end up like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Hansel, you're back in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? I listened to the rock and tried to get a six pack, but it was plastic. I wish my six pack wasn't from the one, two, three plus shop. What have you learned through this experience? I learned to never make trail out of breadcrumbs and to never take lollies from strangers like old ladies. And also, if you have an evil stepmother, take her on a trip to the snowy mountain to blindfold her and push her off the edge. Well, thank you for your time. Back to you in the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast after failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets. Sources are saying happily ever after might not last much longer. We go now to our reporter, Alex A. Thanks, Javon. And hello, everyone. I'm here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beast and smooches to you both. Now, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against odds. How's it all going with you two? Despite what other people say, we are going so well. We are falling in love even more every second. I love the Beast, but he is quite hairy. I love her because beauty has been the most beautiful race since the day I met her. I love the way she reads to me every night before I go to sleep. So you're something of beauty, beauty, and you're a total beast, beast. What is the rea reality of looking someone who's completely different from you? He is the opposite to me, but I love him the way he is. He can be himself. Really? What about the time we had soup for dinner and you made me use a spoon? Uh, your recent wear album did not sell well, and your fashion labels are going to bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? We are going to open a bakery, because Beast loves baking in his new pink apron. Well, the album did not sell well, but what is selling well is my new pink Beast apron with customised words on it. Mine says, kiss the cook. They're selling out fast. See you at 200 Ferry Turner Lane. Uh, thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best uh, future. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Alexei. Now it's time for a faraway lane weather update with Harley, who have the fairest weather of all this week.
fear and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and the birds will sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep dark deep dark and uh, deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land the gr- the green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straws or gingerbread because it will be fee fi fo freezing. Finally, trolls living under the bridge in the west might want want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending to work in, to the working week for most of us. Back to the news desk. Thanks, Harley. Finally tonight, long-haired child dweller Rapunzel is suing the Sleeping Beauty hair salon. Her stylist fell asleep with the princess under the hair dryer. The result was a haircut so terrible it threatens to ruin Rapunzel's career and reputation. Here's our reporter, Maya. Thank you. I'm here outside court where the first day of lawsuit has just finished. And here comes the princess Rapunzel and her stylist now. How did you react when you saw what had happened to you here? I cried so much it felt like a funeral. It was so bad. I thought she was going to braid my hair. I don't think Rapunzel wants you to know this, but she was crying in front of the mirror for two hours straight. What, what do you have to say to the, rep, to the owner of the Sleeping Beauty Salon who ruined your hair, career and your reputation? After my stylist spent, I don't know, like 10 hours on my hair, it wasn't that bad I guess but I'm still suing them it took some time to grow my luscious locks my story isn't Rapunzel Rapunzel let down your hair anymore what are you gonna do about your hair can it be fixed I'm going to get some super duper glue like from Matilda and get the longest extensions that I can buy I will pay anything well thank you for your time Rapunzel and your stylist back to the studio that's all for tonight, although we've just had word that the Big Bad Wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He is hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked, stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Good night. Good night. Oh, Hello. Can I put a wee on top?